You know when you're a kid and you go to the dentist and if you don't cry, they give you a badge or a sticker, yeah? Well, I had a prostate exam today. <laughs> Just get rid of this. Hello, Apollo. Oh, he seemed nice. So, my grief counsellor died recently, but... <laughs> Luckily, he was so good, I didn't give a shit. <laughs> nice to be back, though. Last time I was here, a girl asked me for sex. I had to disappoint her. We had sex. Somebody over there laughing at the idea somebody might have asked me for sex. Wasn't supposed to be the funny bit in that joke, but <laughs> nice to see you again. <laughs> I'd recognise that laugh anywhere. <laughs> Only tonight it's slightly less hurtful. <laughs> so I'm trying to learn to be a more sensitive lover. I got a DVD, How to Improve Your Foreplay Technique. It was really good. I had to fast forward through the boring bit at the beginning. <laughs> The young couple next door to me have recently made a sex tape. I mean, obviously, they don't know that yet. <laughs> I used to go out of the parachutist with IBS, but she shat on me from a great height. I think it's sad the word legend has been devalued from pulling a sword from a stone to unexpectedly returning with crisps. <laughs> I hired a landscape gardener, but he said he couldn't help as my garden was portrait. <laughs> Every Christmas day, we always have pigs in blankets, or as you probably call it, relatives sleeping in the spare room. <laughs> tradition in our family that we always have a Christmas jumper and then it's my job to talk them down. <laughs> I went on a barging holiday, I haven't got a boat, I just kept pushing people into canals. <laughs> I don't like to eat anything labelled reformed ham as I think it's unfair that the pigs are slaughtered after they've got their lives back on track. <laughs> This morning I went to a meeting of my premature ejaculator support group. Yeah, it turns out it's tomorrow. <laughs> a couple of the gentlemen there started clapping before the end of that joke, which is ironic. <laughs> I do, do appreciate that. I accidentally kicked my dog early and it bit me on the bollocks. My mate said, it's karma. I said, no, if anything, it's even more angry. Tell you what always catches my eye, short people with umbrellas. <laughs> I put on a lot of weight, so I rang up Weight Watchers. I said, it's an emergency, can you send somebody round? And they said, yes, we can, we got loads of them. I was actually thrown out of Weight Watchers for making sarcastic comments at the weekly weigh-in. As you can imagine, I accepted the decision with huge grace, because they threw her out as well. <laughs> <laughs> I was watching TV, the announcer said there's a documentary about the clitoris on the red button, but I couldn't find it. <laughs> If you watch a porn film backwards, it's about a man who hoover spunk off a woman. <laughs> then breaks her washing machine and leaves. <laughs> We've all done it. <laughs> Friend of mine had a penis extension. Now his house looks really stupid. 
I was in a sex shop, I saw a dildo described as nine inches long and realistic. I thought, well, which is it? <laughs> My granddad went down in history and on one occasion fingered a girl in geography. There's only one thing I don't like about Halloween, which is... <laughs> I thought PPI was just something you could get if you didn't wear goggles at a swing baths. <laughs> <laughs> My girlfriend's dog died, so to cheer up, I got an identical one. She was livid. What am I going to do with two dead dogs? I bought a chocolate bar on the inside of the wrapper. It said, you're a loser. I wouldn't mind if there'd been some sort of competition on. <laughs> Making things worse, it was a boost. <laughs> My uncle Derek was found dead with a belt round his neck and a dildo up his ass. At his funeral, the vicar said we'd always remember him for his charity work. <laughs> Wrong. Then he filled the escort with diesel. She died. <laughs> I always worry when a woman sees me naked for the first time that she's just going to scream and run out of the park. <laughs> when I heard you could now be a sperm donor by post, I came in a jiffy. My girlfriend said she wanted to try some new condoms with something special inside to boost her pleasure. I said, oh, what's that? And she said, other men's cocks. <laughs> I've been trying to persuade my girlfriend to sexually stimulate me with her key ring, but she just keeps fobbing me off. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh, oh, oh.